Alright, so for this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a matching outfit or a couple outfit. So the first video is going to be for female and the second one is going to be for male. Also for the male, if you don't like the white and red sports shoes, you can change it. So just go to high heels and buy the off-white platforms and those are going to be for the checkerboard sneakers. And also for the male version, I have um, a different video on how to do it with the real joggers or you can also do it with the fake joggers if you want. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over another outfit from the outfit transfer glitch. So remember that you do lose all your outfits except for only one. So before you do the glitch, put on the outfit that you don't want to lose before you start. Also, this outfit we're not going to be merging and you do not need the white joggers. You're going to get the white joggers from the outfit. So don't worry if you don't have the white joggers. So like I said, you're going to be losing all your outfits except for only one. So put on the outfit that you don't want to lose. When you're ready, come to the clothing store, put your spawn location on last location, hit your pause button go to online and go to swap character and this outfit is only for female characters so if you main a male character or like a guy character you're not going to be able to do the glitch it's only for the female characters so once you get in here you just want to gonna go over to your second character and it's either going to say edit or delete if it says delete just go ahead and delete that second character and two new characters are going to come in and then it's going to give you the option that says edit but if you see edit go ahead and select edit and then you're going to get this alert that's going to ask you to copy your stuff over and you just want to go ahead and copy it so if it says delete just go ahead and delete that second character and then you're going to get it um but um option that says edit so when you accept that alert when you get in here if your second character ended up being a female just go ahead and change it into a male so just go ahead and change it into a male go ahead and save and continue i'm gonna make a name for it go ahead and take the picture and then after that when it's loading it may or may not play the casino dlc trailer if it plays it it's not gonna mess the glitch up if it doesn't play it's not gonna mess the glitch up all you're waiting for is to spawn inside of a new session So it played like a casino DLC trailer, but I'm gonna skip it. So when you get inside of any new session, just go ahead and open up your mini map and you just wanna go ahead and look for the clothing stores. If you don't see any clothing stores in your session, all you're gonna have to do is switch sessions or find a new session and then the clothing stores are gonna be inside of that new session. But if you do see a clothing store, just go ahead and make your way over to any of the clothing stores. So like I said, if you don't see any clothing stores, just find a new session and then the clothing stores are gonna be inside of that new session. And you just wanna go ahead and make your way over to any of them. So when you get inside a clothing store, you just want to go ahead and make your way over to the top section. Go to suit jackets and purchase the gray rolled jacket. So just come to the top, go to suit jackets and purchase the gray rolled jacket. So just go ahead and buy that. After you buy that, you just want to go ahead and make your way over to the pants section, go to um, shorts and purchase the tan stripe box of shorts. So come over to the pants section, go to shorts and purchase the tan stripe box of shorts. So that's what it looked like, just go ahead and purchase that. And when you have that, you just want to go ahead and make your way over to the shoe section. Go to smart shoes and purchase the gray slip-ons which should be towards the bottom once you're inside of smart shoes so just come over here to the shoe section go to smart shoes and purchase the gray slip-ons the sizes run small if you want to avoid getting depressed so once you've got that you just want to go ahead and make your way over to the hats go to caps forward and purchase the hat that I'm gonna be buying. I'm not sure how to say the name and I don't want to sound dumb trying to say it. So just go ahead and purchase the hat that I'm gonna be buying and you're gonna be able to find this in the um, for, um, caps forward. So it should be towards the bottom. So number 89. So go ahead and buy this hat right here. When you have that, you just wanna go ahead and make your way over to the watches and purchase the Lime iFruit Tech. 
So just go to the um, accessories, come to the watches, and purchase the Lime Ice Fruit Tech. So just go ahead and buy that so after you buy that you just want to go ahead and back out you want to make your way to the tie section which should be in the accessories go to the ties and purchase the white skinny tie so let's come into the ties and purchase the white skinny tie After you've got that, you just want to go ahead and back out, stay in the accessories, go to the gloves and purchase the black fingerless gloves. So let's go to the gloves and purchase the black fingerless gloves. So when you have that, you just want to go ahead and make your way over to the glasses, go to the aviator glasses and purchase the silver eyewear. So just come over here to the glasses, go to aviator and purchase the silver eyewear. So number 15 just go ahead and there buy that go. so once you have that just go ahead and come save the outfit when you save it make sure you save it in a empty slot that's on your main character so if the outfit on my main character i didn't want to lose it was in slot 20 i would just save this in a different slot so just go ahead and save the outfit in a empty slot that's on your main character after you save the outfit go ahead and back out open up your interaction menu and just go ahead and take the easy way out So when you spawn, after taking the easy way out, just go ahead and hit your pause button, go to online and go inside of creator. When you load inside of creator, go ahead and click on create a race and then click on land race. When you spawn in, go ahead and click on race details, go ahead and fill out the title. In the description they don't have to be anything specific and then go ahead and take the photo after you take the photo go ahead and put the maximum players on two and put the root type on point to point and then just go ahead and hit your pause button and you just want to warp over to the airport once you get to the airport just go ahead and hit b go to placement go ahead and click on place triggers go ahead and place it down and then back out of that click on lobby camera go ahead and take it and then back out of that and then go ahead and click on the checkpoints now when you're making the race it has to be only 1.00 miles long so just go ahead and make your race 1.00 miles long after you've made it 1.00 miles long you just want to go ahead and hit b twice and it's going to give you the option to test out the race and you just want to go ahead and test it out So after you finish the race, you're going to get the completed alert. Go ahead and accept that. When you load in, just go ahead and hit your pause button. Go to online and go to swap, um, choose character.
when you're loading in here all you're gonna do is just go ahead and go over to your second character and we're going to delete them so make sure you delete the guy character not your female you don't want to delete your main character by accident just go over to the um, guy character that has the outfit on and just go ahead and delete him so it's going to ask you to type in delete to confirm it go ahead and do that after you delete the um second character two characters two new characters are going to come in and then from here just go ahead and hit b so it takes you into single player so when these two new characters come in just go ahead and hit b so it takes you into single player When you get into single player, all you want to do is just go ahead and hit your pause button, go to online, go to play GC online, and just go inside of an invite only session. You just go inside of an invite only session when you come into story mode. So when you load into online, you just want to go ahead and come save your outfit because it's not going to be saved. So before you do anything, make sure you come save your outfit. So once you save the outfit, you could go ahead and open up your interaction menu, go to your styles, and you should be able to just click on the outfit and you should have it since you don't have to merge anything. So this is what the outfit is going to look like. So this is what the outfit looks like right here with the checkerboard shoes and the white joggers. So if you guys like the video and um, we're able to get the outfit, don't forget to drop a like on it share it subscribe and don't forget to turn your post notifications make sure you share the video we're so close to 5k subs we need like only uh, like 500 more but yeah just make sure you share the video like it if you already haven't and don't forget to turn your post notifications if you already said it Now for this outfit, you don't need the actual white joggers. We're going to be using the fake white joggers. If you want the version with the actual white joggers, I got a video on that from a while ago. But for this specific outfit, we're going to be using the fake white joggers. So as always, we are going to be doing the transfer glitch, which means you're going to be losing all your outfits except for only one. So before you start, make sure you equip the outfit that you don't want to lose. Also, if you don't have a rebreather or an earpiece, you want to go to ammunition and buy either a rebreather or an earpiece once you've got that you want to come to the clothing store make sure you set your spawn location on last location go ahead and hit your pause button go to online and go to swap character so one more time you are going to be losing all your outfits except for only one so before you start make sure you equip the outfit that you don't want to lose So once you get loaded inside of here, all you want to do is go over to your second character and underneath your second character, it should say edit or delete. If it says delete under your second character, just go ahead and delete your second character and two new characters will walk in and then you're going to have the option that says edit on your second character. When you got the option that says edit on your second character, just go ahead and select that and when your second character is going, you're going to get this alert right here. Just go ahead and accept it once you accept the alert and you get inside of here if your second character ended up being a male like mine just change it into a female if it ended up being a female just leave it go ahead and save and continue make a random name for it and take the picture once you take the picture it's gonna go ahead and load you inside of a new session
once you guys get loaded inside your new session first thing you want to do is hit your pause button open up your map and you want to check to see if there are any clothing stores in your session if you see clothing stores in your session just go ahead and make your way over to the nearest one but if you don't see any clothing stores all you got to do is go ahead and find a new session or just switch sessions and the clothing stores are going to be inside that new session so if you don't see any clothing stores just with session or find a new session and if you do see clothing stores just make your way over to the nearest one So once you've made your way over to the clothing store, first you're going to go to the top section, go to leather jackets, and buy the black deep belted jacket. So just come over to the top section, go to leather jackets, and buy the black deep belted jacket. So this one right here, just go ahead and buy it. Once you bought it, go ahead and back out, stay in the top section, go to tuck t-shirts and buy the blue digital t-shirt, which I think is number 75. So just go to tuck t-shirts and buy the blue digital t-shirt. So this one right here, just go ahead and buy it. Once you guys have got that, you wanna make your way over to the pants section go to sport pants and buy the spotted muscle pants which should be the first ones as always so just come to the pants section go to sport pants and buy the spotted muscle pants once you've got that make your way over to the shoes go to the boots and buy the white cowboy boots just make your way over to the shoes go to the boots and buy the white cowboy boots So these right here, once you got that, you want to go ahead and make your way over to the gloves or the accessories and you want to make sure you take your earring off because some female characters spawn in by default with earrings. So if your female character has any earrings on, come to the accessories and make sure you take off the earrings. Once you've taken off your earrings on your female character, you want to go to the gloves and buy the light woodland tactical gloves, which are going to be in slot number 12. So just come to the gloves and buy the light woodland tactical gloves. Once you've got that, you're going to go ahead and open up your interaction menu. Go to your things in inventory and you want to put on the standard body armor. So just open up your inventory and put on your standard body armor. Once you got that, just go ahead and come save the outfit. And when you save it, make sure it's in a empty slot that's on your main character. So the outfit that you didn't want to lose on your main character was in slot 20. You will just save this in a different slot. So just save it on an empty slot that's on your main character. Once you save your outfit, just hit B or circle, go to standard outfits and purchase the Chica outfit. Once you've got the Chica outfit, just go ahead and completely back out, hit your pause button, go to online and go inside a creator. Once you get inside of here, just go ahead and click on create a race and then you want to click on land race. Once you get loaded inside of here, you want to go ahead and click on race details. Just go ahead and fill out the title and the description. Doesn't have to be anything specific. I just put in random stuff for it. After just go ahead and take the photo, put the maximum players on two and set the route type on point to point. Once you've got that, hit your pause button, open up your map and you want to warp over to the airport. Once you get to the airport, just hit B or circle and you want to go ahead and click on placement. 
now I can just click on place triggers go ahead and place down your trigger wherever back out of that click on lobby camera go ahead and take it and then back out of that and you want to click on checkpoints now it doesn't matter how many checkpoints you place down as long as the race is 0.62 miles or longer so just go ahead and make the race 0.62 miles or longer and then you want to hit your back button twice and it's going to give you the option to test out the race and you just want to go ahead and test it out Once you finish the race, you're going to get this completed alert. Just go ahead and accept it. Once you get loaded in, just hit your pause button, go to online, and you want to click on choose character. So once you guys get loaded inside this room right here, all you want to do is go over to your second character and you're going to delete her. So make sure you delete your female with the chica outfit on. You don't want to delete your main by accident. Go over to your female and you're going to delete her. Once you delete your female character, two new characters will walk in. From here, just hit your back button, either B or circle, and it's going to take you inside of single player. Once you guys get loaded inside of single player, all you want to do is hit your pause button, go to online, go to play GTA online and just go inside of a invite only session. So all you're doing in single player is going inside of a invite only session. When you guys get loaded inside your online session, the first thing you want to do is make sure you come save your outfit because it's not going to be saved. So wherever you spawn at, make sure you come save your outfit. And also, when you're saving it, make sure it's saved towards the bottom so it doesn't get in the way when you're trying to merge other outfits. So once you guys have saved your outfit, you want to make your way over to the pants section, go to cargo pants and buy the light gray large cargo. So just come over to the pants section, go to cargo pants and buy the light gray large cargo. Once you guys have got that, make your way over to the tops, go to racing jersey and buy the cherry motocross racing jersey. So just come to the top section, go to racing jersey and purchase the cherry motocross racing jersey so this right here once you guys have got that make your way over to the shoes 
go to the boots and buy the charcoal tactical boots so let's come over to the shoes go to the boots and buy the charcoal tactical boots once you've got that just go ahead and back out you want to hit your pause button go to online go to jobs play jobs rockstar created go to versus and you want to start up crud cops once you're inside the settings for crud cops make sure you put the clothing on player owned or the glitch will not work so when you guys get loaded inside the settings right here make sure you put the clothing on player owned or the glitch will not work from here just go ahead and either invite your friend or wait for a random for the job to start So once you guys get loaded inside of here, just go down to owned outfits and hit right on the d-pad once. From there you should have the outfit on and you just want to go ahead and ready up. Once you guys get loaded inside the Crud Cops mission, all you want to do is go ahead and open up your interaction menu. Go to your styles, go to your accessories, and put on either a rebreather or an earpiece. Once you've got that, you want to go ahead and close the interaction menu, open up your phone, and quit the job from your phone. Once you guys get loaded inside your online session from here, all you want to do is go ahead and come save your outfit in front of Amun, not in front, but inside of ammunition. Once you um save your outfit, you can go ahead and delete the component saying she don't need it anymore. So that's going to be for the video. If you guys enjoyed it and we're able to get the outfit, don't forget to drop a like on it, share it, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos.